I am very excited to have my next guest join us. She's a very talented singer and songwriter who I'm so happy to have on the program. Taylor Jansen. There she Hi. is. Hi. Thank you hey. for having me. How are you? I'm great. I'm having a good time. I'm on tour. Uh, we're in Asheville, North Carolina at the moment. So uh, This is a, a fancy hotel room, too. It looks pretty posh. It's, it's a motel. <laughs> oh, come on. It, it's just nicely decorated, but it, it's a motel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, good for them for doing their part to step up their game. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. <laughs> so, so how is tour right now? Uh, Ex-ambassadors and, and all those guys. It's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, just, you know, I've known Sam for a bit and he's just so kind. And then like, you know, meeting Scary Pool Party um, has been amazing. They're just like the coolest people. Um, and it's just nice to not be in Canada. It's, it's nice. <laughs> it's really nice to not, you know, be in a tiny little area of Canada. So I'm enjoying it. I mean, I try hard not to touch on the topic of the last 20 months and how it's affected people and so forth. But since you right. just, since you just did, oh, um, word. <laughs> since you just did, I, I'm sure that there were moments of itchiness to get on the road and, and get, you know, get in front of people to perform your music. What, tell me about the feeling that you get in particular, you know, when you perform and how you touch people and not being able to do so. What had that feeling been like yeah. to have the, those moments taken away or on pause? Well, there's a, there's obviously a lot of different aspects of making music your career. Like there's so many different things in, in life. Music is like one aspect of that. Um, but it's like my main aspect as a musician and a, as a performer, it's the one that fulfills me the most. So it's it's really incredible to be able to do it again. I don't think I'll ever take it for granted again. Nice. You've uh, released a couple of new songs this year, which are just so great. Uh, the Thank most, you. Uh, you, know, you have Push It Down and Something Better, which is, man, I, I, I'm so into that track. And, and so many people have spoken about it online and things like that. What is the origin of that particular song with Something Better? Yeah, um, I, I wrote it when I was thinking about how we are shaped by the people before us um, and about the, the patterns that are passed down to us from the people who are raising us um, and how hard it is to break those patterns. Um, and I, I do think that this generation coming up is um, a little bit more aware of that. It, it's a very personal song because I'm basically just writing about um, my fears going into the rest of my life, I guess. When you create a lyric, think about the lyric and actually write it down and then sing a lyric that says, I always knew the world was awful. I'm just scared I might be too. Mm -hmm. Man, does that hit home? Because it really makes you think, especially in the world we live in, in such a divided you know, society. I'm not even going to say it's an American thing. I feel like mm -hmm. this is a, 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 a global thing. Uh, where does that line come from? I, I think I, I grew up kind of knowing that there were really awful things in the world. And uh, I think we all grow up knowing that to some degree. Um, and there's a point where you're like, oh, how do I exist in a world in this world without feeling like I'm also not the best here. <laughs> like what, like how do I exist in this world that has so many awful things happening and not kind of take that on and, and be a part of, how do I stop myself from contributing to that essentially? So with these two songs that we have, I'm sure this is kind of a, a lead up to something bigger. I understand that your debut album has been in the works for quite some time. Is this where we're at right now or is it still in process? Yeah. I mean, without going too much into it, uh, I essentially made a record. I wrote a record before the pandemic. Um, literally the last song I made 
was the week before the pandemic. Like I had it pretty much set in stone. And then about four months in, I decided I didn't like it anymore. And I started over. (laughs) So uh, I've kind of just been quietly, you know, making the music that I have wanted to make um, in my hometown for the last, you know, year and a half. And I'm excited to, that it's finally being able to, you know, surface. That's awesome. But, That's yeah. awesome. And, and you spoke about how you leaned into your perspective from your childhood. Is that a theme for the album? Uh, yes and no. I think my my past work has been very like focused on my relationships with other people. And and I think the songs coming up are a lot more focused on my relationship with myself. Um, so. So. So, yeah, I, I would say that that would be a quite reoccurring theme. And did any of the events of 2020 change direction or impact some of the songs in terms of lyrics or even sonics of it yeah i mean uh the fact that the pandemic happened and i was stuck in winnipeg for a year and a half meant that i had to regroup how i was gonna work um out of my hometown i'd never really um worked with producers in my hometown or music videos or i'd never done any of that in winnipeg specifically because it's quite small and I decided that I was going to lean more into the art scene uh, where I lived. And I'm very glad that I did. Uh, I made probably half the songs that are going to come out with uh, one of my best friends who lives two streets down from me. And um, I recorded the push it down video uh, in my neighborhood. I did the something better video, you know, a few streets down. Like it, it's very homegrown which I don't think it would have been um, had it not been for the, the last year and a half. Uh, so that, that definitely had an impact on how the art was made, especially the songwriting too. Um, the songwriting was so much more isolated than I thought it would be. I didn't do as many co-writes as I thought I would. It was very, it was very homegrown. That's really awesome to hear in a way because of you know, the fact that you are, showing yourself you're being vulnerable in your lyrics and it goes back to when you were a kid in your bedroom writing all the lyrics and and poetry and and whatever may inspire the music it's all you and you don't really have a lot of outside forces and now being an adult and in the industry uh, you know now having connections to help with the flourishes and the minutia and, and emphasizing those particular things that makes for even better music in my opinion it's, it, it has been a very interesting uh, process for me. I've tried to incorporate as much um, as much of my favorite art from Winnipeg into my own art as I can, which has been nice. Cool. I really appreciate your time for doing this and uh, you know, a big fan of your music and look forward to the album. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.